Hey folks, it's Max with PhoneArena.com. We are in San Francisco, California, where Google has just uh, laid out a whole lot of news in just over an hour, not least of which two new Nexus smartphones for its uh, banner-bearing lineup of Android 6.0 Marshmallow. And um, the, uh, the leader of that pack is the Nexus 6P, which has been made by manufacturing partner Huawei. I've got the uh, graphite colored one here and uh, it provides a good contrast against the uh, weird lighting we have in here, so that's why I'm using it. But the, uh, the device has a lot of similar design features that are familiar from last year's humongous Nexus 6. And here you can see it right next to the Nexus 6. And uh, the 6P is just a hint taller, but it's a little bit narrower. Um, so that works well because it does have a slightly smaller display, 5.7 inches versus 5.96. Uh, but I wanted to give you a size comparison there because that is obviously uh, what somebody who's used to having a dinner plate against their head is going to be looking at here. And that's how uh, the devices look uh, in terms of uh, overall form factor. Taking it back to the 6P though, what we have here are uh, all the goods. You've got the 3.5 millimeter headset jack on top. Along the left side of the device, you have the SIM card tray. And then the rest of the body, which is all metal, by the way, uh, is clean. On the bottom, we have a USB Type-C uh, connector, among the first smartphones on the market to have that. And on the right side, we have the familiar-looking volume rocker right in the center, pretty much of that, of that spine. And then the power lock button here as well. On the back uh, are the most notable features of uh, the Nexus 6P. First is the 12.3 uh, megapixel uh, camera with uh, laser assist autofocus, dual LED flash, and uh, a, a handsome, if pronounced, uh, little bump. It's not too bad, but it's there to make a point. And then the other distinguishing feature of this new round of Nexus devices is the fingerprint scanner, which is uh, called Nexus Imprint, or you leverages Nexus Imprint. And when you're holding this phone, like I am here, I'm just gonna turn it over and ta-da, my finger falls right there into uh, position. So it's a perfect spot uh, for a device uh, like this. And they're saying that uh, once your fingerprint is programmed in there, uh, the 6P will recognize your fingerprint to unlock the phone uh, in less than 600 milliseconds. So that's pretty quick. Um, I can already tell it doesn't register my fingerprint. It gently shakes in my hand saying that uh, I'm not the right person. And then uh, inside the device, uh, we have a pattern locked uh, uh, device right now. But that is the Nexus 6P. Other uh, features that are familiar, you have an eight megapixel camera on the front here. And then you have dual front-facing speakers, just like its uh, predecessor from uh, Motorola. So uh, a device that is uh, built to uh, take pictures, thanks to its extra large uh, pixel sizes, 1.55 uh, microns. And um, then you also have a QHD 5.7 inch display, uh, which has some pretty punchy looking color and uh, looks pretty crispy from here. As far as, uh, when you can expect this device, you can start pre-ordering it today. Prices start at $499 for the 32 gigabyte model. There's also a 64 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte model that will be available as well. And you can start seeing them to uh, begin shipping uh, in October. So keep checking back with us for more from phonearena.com uh, here at the Google event. And uh, we'll get right back with you from San Francisco.